Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because guess what? I have yours. So what we're going to do is pull from this card deck. I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, we're going to pull and see where your energy is. Um... You guys, I can't stress enough to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. Uh, the reason being is that it'll get that card, my card, my cards. It'll get my channel out there to like-minded cancers like ourselves. And yeah, to give us some type of inspiration, motivation. Something is going on because my last video did not download. And there you have it. Oh boy, this is going to be a really good read. But it ends with bottom of the deck. The death energy so we have the moon energy the moon energy is just basically you excuse me actually remembering about uh the time where you nurtured certain situations and struggled and also you had to make a decision in order to have the courage and the desire to be able to move forward from a situation and end things that no longer serve you because that is how i see this energy the queen of pentacles jds tarot says that can be very toxic to herself or her, his or herself when it comes to family the queen of pentacles says um a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life protect and care for them no, no matter what that no matter what causes struggle so we have the five of pentacles and the two of pentacles seven years it took for you to make a decision five of pentacles you struggle seven years it took for you to make a decision in regards to you uh having some type of abundance or having a new plan or some type of opportunity or being able to manifest something different by you ending the things that no longer served you so the way the cards fell out i can't make it up but the moon energy again the unknown of what it is but you're remembering basically uh, the three uh, pinnacles in the reverse that someone didn't want to work with you as a team or somebody, you know, it was like um, a lack of planning and foresight uh, or opportunities that you missed in regards to what it is that you went through. The Ace of Swords energy shows clarity, clarity here, you reflecting back uh, in regards to the movement you had to do. Chariot energy, our energy comes for the five of pinnacles, the struggles that you went through. Um, when it comes to you being the chariot, you know, the chariot is like you had to keep going, even though, yeah, Ten of Wands, there were burdens there reaching the top of the mountain or the hill. You need to you needed to find balance within yourself. So you had to make a decision, temperance, energy, finding balance uh, or, yeah, you actually trying to outweigh and see things for what they are, you know, and, you know, you had to do things. You had patience. There was uh, a purpose of you doing stuff, but it didn't have any meaning behind it. So you had to make a decision to a pinnacles is what we're clarifying. You had to make a decision to move forward. Yep. Knight of Pentacles, follow your heart. This came out like in the read that is trying to download, but don't want to. But the Ace of Pentacles comes, you know, the Knight of Pentacles says, follow your heart. It always, no, wait, let me read it. Always follow your heart because it'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can explain. The um, last reading is called Respecting Yourself. So uh, it should have came out at five this morning, but for some reason it hasn't uploaded on the Internet. So I'm not sure why it's only at 54 percent. So by the time you get this one, you'll get that one. Too, it seems like six of pentacles excuse me six of cups energy comes with the ace of uh, pentacles or very clarifying the ace of pentacles so the six of cups energy just lets you know that when it comes to you know the memories that you had you had to move forward in order to be abundant to have the confidence yeah queen of pentacles because again you're going to be abundant no matter what the situation is but to reflect back on how you depleted your energy your finances and everything fighting for a dream or fighting for something that you wanted. Uh, I didn't even clarify the um, three of pentacles in the reverse. So I'll go ahead and do that. But again, like I say, the three of pentacles being in the reverse, just let you know that there was a lack of people, a lack of foresight. Somebody didn't want to work with you and somebody didn't want you to, it was like you had to self protect. You had to protect yourself, but it was like a lot of you doing things alone and feeling disharmony in regards to, what it is that you were trying to uh, uh, manifest, the things that you were trying to do. But the Queen of Pentacles speaks for itself because out of the struggle, 
um, and having the clarity, it comes with being back out here. And that comes with you ending things and realizing that, you know, the Six of Cups energy, the nostalgia, the memories of what it is uh, and why you love this person the way you did, that's no longer a memory that you're holding. It's the lesson that you got out of that and which turns you back into the Queen of Pentacles that you're okay with nurturing situations that serve you, not the ones that no longer serve you. And so with that being said, that's the reason why the Six of Cups comes out because that is what you were remembering back here uh, when it came to the Three of Pentacles being in the reverse the memories of where you are and why you're there, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see that. So as I look, as I put my card deck down, the lover's energy doing what makes your heart happy is here, but the lover's energy is also you following your heart, which is the same as the Knight of Pentacles, following your heart, making a decision to follow your heart because of the fact that there, the, the things that you can manifest as the Queen of Pentacles uh, and also really learn from the lessons of the past will make you be able to do what makes your heart happy and everything will come together maybe not with the person place or thing or situation that was in the past but it might make it better for you moving forward and that's where the death energy comes in at there had to be some type of change in order for you to do what makes your heart happy and literally do it without having any issues of the past i'm going to clarify this with another deck i'm trying to think what card deck i want to use I'm trying to figure out which one is closer to me um, because I have them all stacked up on each other. I think I can use this one. Um, I'll, I, I'll use the Intuit Tarot uh, to come to see what comes out. But And then since that card deck was on top of it, this is called the Soul's Connections When Two Heart Meets. So I'm clarifying the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, that comes with, yep, the Devil in the reverse, unhealthy patterns. So again, the memories of why nobody you know why you were doing things all alone it was because it was unhealthy patterns there and it says unhealthy patterns physical or emotional abuse negative karmic connections toxic energetic toxic energetic implants and codependency so you were codependent on again being who the queen of pentacles is uh which will do anything for someone who they consider family if that makes sense and so with the ace of swords being here we're clarify that with the summer solstice so everything is coming and it says uh, pinnacle of success timing a few weeks let go of the control celebrate life have fun and then the summertime this is when you're going to really start to see what you have planted the seed that you have planted seven years later right five years two years each pinnacle is equivalent to a year so we have the five of pinnacles and we have the two of pinnacles as well okay i paused it my son was i left my food in the little oven thing the, what is it the air fryer so he was telling me it smelled like it was burning. Anyway, after running downstairs through the house, ah, there you have it. So when it comes to the struggle, everything is telling you to have a little fun and let go of your control. And that's basically what you did. It took you seven years to get through this, but you're going to be on top, back with the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Just let you know that the endings had to come with you doing what made your heart happy. Whew, had to catch my breath. So... Anyway, with the chariot being here, yeah, see, the ace of coins, new beginning. So offers are going to happen. Things are going to flourish. It says meeting someone new, stable, security, abundance, and potential. That's what you want. However, this word called potential, that's you making assumptions that somebody has healthy patterns. And that's what you're learning from when it comes from the past. Doing what makes your heart happy is the two of pinnacles and the knight of cups is doing what makes your heart happy, making decisions because, yeah, the shifting in energy, I can't make this up. So variety, change it up, adapt, conquer self-doubt, conquer self-doubt, embrace change, do it differently, make amends, unexpected surprises. So um, there is you doing things differently. Is, are you making amends with someone else or with the past? Or are you going back into a relationship? Or are you making amends with yourself because you're conquering self-doubt? And you're going to be successful and you're not going to let the past control you back to the king of coins and the queen of coins. Damn, this is what's happening. So you are going to meet someone new. And this is where the queen of coins and the king of coins is here. I can't make this up. Lovers doing what makes your heart happy. So things had to change and get rocky before it got better. You know, they say it gets what the darkest, uh, the darkest nights produce the brightest stars. And here it is. 
the king and the queen of coins back to where you are so now this is what you were looking for in the beginning this is the new offer it says uh consummate hostages hostesses consummate hostess i'm sorry <laughs> hostages <laughs> earlier today i saw it was a standoff and i'm like where do i live uh it was kind of close to my house but not really but yeah it was kind of crazy impeccable taste business savvy prosperous organized grounded nurturing detail caring realist and classy Another thing is the king of coins is the ultimate provider. You want somebody to provide for you mentally, physically, and spiritually. And sometimes, and all the time, emotionally. Uh, physically, it's not really a thing because you're able to provide for yourself. So the thing is, is that a strong sense of self-worth. They know what they want. They know how to take care of themselves. But financially stable, hardworking, dependable, successful, grounded, abundant, secure, and stable. The perfect team and that's what you wanted bottom of the deck is the eight of wands yeah so a lack of focus and this is in the reverse because in the past you had to end things because of the lack of focus lost momentum energy blocks on hold delays stalls take times to align and so you're going to find somebody that wants to make you happy both physically mentally spiritually and abundantly and that is the thing and that's what you were looking for so the universe Got, had you get rid of all the unhealthy patterns, walk away from the things that no longer serve you, and basically look at and observe exactly what the moon energy is, is you remembering where you were in the past the struggle and why you had to make a decision to become abundant. And now here it is, the universe is offering you someone who is of your like kind. That's the offer that's happening. Somebody that's going to help you flourish, and that will happen in the summertime. But the, the change had to happen because of the fact that you know, that is what you had to go through, you know. Okay, so look at this. All of those cards came out. Synchronicities are here. So the person that you meet is going to be synchronous, uh, going to syn be synchronous, is going to be in sync with you. And so a divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments and synchronicities. So, again, when you communicate uh, with this person and when you meet this person, it says it's going to be your true love past life energies we reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many lifetimes this time it's going to be right the attraction is going to be there divine soul counterpart attraction transcends superficial superficiality confusion all seekers of truth experience confusion ask the divine to provide the answers you need that's where you were going through in spiritual it says your spiritual journey is beginning and that's where you were and the spiritual journey is going to be filled with love and somebody who completes you and not depletes you so let's go ahead and pull from the four agreements and um i have an appointment in like 15 minutes i gotta go to uh the four agreements and then uh if you want to know what the four agreements are um and how I, my perspective of them i'll click the links up above and then we'll pull from the crystal deck um also while we're right here pulling cards yep the moldavite and let's see what other card came out so the moldavite and be impeccable with your words yes seek to know the truth and that's what you want moving forward you know you having um again a lack of focus loss of momentum not being able to speak your mind and say what you want because of the unhealthy patterns it says when you hear an opinion and believe it you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. So the confusion is you speaking your mind and having clarity about why you were in the situation you were in and why you went through what you went through and why the change was needed. And so the motivate has you deal with the crown, third eye, throat, and the heart chakra. It says cosmic connections, high vibration, and acceleration. And it says, my perception of the universe is expanding. My perception of the universe is expanding. So now you know the universe has your back, but both king and queen is going to come together uh, after seven years of going through this, and you guys are going to be successful. You're going to have impeccable, pay, impeccable taste. You're both going to know your, your self-worth. You're going to be business savvy, both, both financially stable, hardworking. You guys are going to be able to, to be the complete package and put things together and be strong and be able to invest and to have that true love that you're looking for. But it also is going to be a part of building a healthy foundation. And that is what the goal was in the beginning. And so that is how I see that. So let's go ahead and let the old energy go, the past, right? 
I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. The devil energy. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.